So guys, in just a sec, I'm gonna show you um, how ecstatic I was when I actually got my fender in. Um, and then I got it painted by Mako. And then I actually just put it on today. I put the new uh, GT, well, it's the same GT badge. It was just, I just repurposed it. So if you guys uh, think it would be a better idea to buy a new one and then do that, um, let me know. But I just repurposed my old one. I just used fishing wire. I took it off from the old one and then used some adhesive and put it on this guy. I'm still waiting for my stripes to come in from American Muscle because I have to put the new ones on. And um, I'm gonna redo my GT underscore Mystique as well because I obviously can't take it off and put on the new one. And the guy that I went to is like down in Selma. So uh, I don't know if we still have ties with him as far as like um, a group um, sponsor, but regardless, um, are you guys, you guys ready to check it out? You guys wanna see what it looks like? My car looks like an actual car again. <laughs> so I was just about to jump in the shower and then all of a sudden I hear a knock on the door and I'm like, what the hell? And I ordered this guy not too long ago, and it's already here. It's already here. Like, I'm returning my car back to its original before my crash. <laughs> I'm so happy, like, I'm that much closer to making my car look what it used to, you know? But, um, let me go grab my knife. Let me go grab my knife. Check it out. Sorry. Like I said, I was in the shower. You good, Daisy? Oh my goodness. There's so many of these little guys. Oh my god. Check it out. I know it's black. It's not supposed to be black, but it's black for now. So if you guys know and you've been following me and I do need to update my uh, writing with the warrant, plus I need to get a new uh, mount for my phone. But uh, when I got my second DUI, that's why I destroyed that guy. And now I'm finally gonna be able to bring her back to new with this. So it's nine in the morning, I had Sydney come with me, and we dropped off my fender, or the right fender, Mako. I was gonna go through and like, look at some other places, but honestly, I was just like, whatever. And now I'm gonna have to pay, them. whatever. So I was like, screw it, let's just, let's just get this done. So $500 later, and maybe a couple more business days, and I'll have it back slapped on this car at no time, and she'll be looking back to normal. Yeah. So what do you think? Wow. Is it really expensive? Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be that much. I mean, because what, it was 500. Well, well there's an extra 100, body. there's an extra 140 Yeah, though. but a whole body paint would have been like, what, like a thousand? Mm, I don't know. No, but, no, I think it would have been like two grand or something. But there's an extra body work that costs 143, and that's why. It would have been, it would have been closer to 350. Yeah. But, if they can take the blemishes out, I'm cool with it because the whole reason why I'm replacing it anyways is because of the dent. So, I think it's expensive, $65 an hour, but... It is what it is. If you want to get it done, you got to pay. Money come, money goes, right? Mm. I sent it in about a week and a half ago, <laughs> and I just got an update today that it's actually ready for pickup. So I'm going to go pick it up today, possibly install it, and then I'll have my car semi back to normal again. Um, I just gotta figure out a way to make my line straight again just because my doors threw that off. Uh, but besides that, like, she's coming back together and I'm so excited, I'm so happy. And I'll show you guys that install process here too. Oh, yes. I picked it up, um, it's just here for now. I'm waiting until the sun goes down a little bit more so I can possibly um, take off my other one and maybe put this guy on. The only thing that's gonna be um, a weird ordeal is the GT. 
I have to take it off from my other one and bad to this one. So that's gonna be the only thing so far that I know is gonna be a little tricky. But besides that, um, I'm just so excited for this guy to be put on and for my car to basically return back to normal. It matches so beautifully uh, for the color wise. They did great. Mako did a good job. It was uh, like, I think $500, but it's, uh, you know, it's got the paint coat and the clear coat and it matches perfectly with the original style. Um, you know, it, you can hardly even tell that it's, you know, brand new on there, except for the fact that, you know, nothing lines up because of my doors and everything else, which eventually I want to figure that out. But for the most part, my car looks like a car in one piece again. There's no crinkle on the side or anything like that. So um, I'm really happy to see my car back to normal for the most part from after that tragic, stupid event that I did. But that was a little, you know, a little short video, guys. I just wanted to show you guys my car coming back to normal. So it actually looked like what it's supposed to again. So I'm really, really happy about that. But guys, the build, it's coming. I'm gonna have that car cam soon, soon. So don't forget guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit those comments. I hate my neighbors. Anyways guys, I'll see you guys on the next one.